Story Time at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hello, my name is Haiti Lopez Malasco, and I am a library customer advisor at the Price Hill Branch. Today we will be reading Rene Has Two Last Names. On the first day at my new school, my teacher, Ms. Soraya, gave me a sticker that said Rene Colato. The sticker was missing my second last name. Maybe Ms. Soraya's pen ran out of ink. I took my pencil and added it. Now looked right, Rene Colato Linus. In El Salvador, I wrote my name on my homework, my books, and my birthday party invitations. Rene Colato Linus was a happy song that made me dance to the rhythms of the cha-cha-cha. But in the United States, the song lost the weedles, maracas, and drums. Why does my name have to be different here? At my desk, I wrote my name on a piece of paper. When I wrote Colato, I saw my grandparents, Rene and Amelia, singing with me. When I wrote Linus, I saw my grandparents, Angela and Julio, dancing with me. Rene Colato looked incomplete. It was like a hamburger without the meat, or a pizza without cheese, or a hot dog without a wiener. Yuck! During recess, I played soccer with my classmates. A boy looked at my sticker and asked, What is your name? Rene Colato Linus, I told him. That's a long dinosaur name, he laughed. Your name is longer than an anaconda, another boy giggled. It's a blue whale from head to tail, said the goalie. At home, while I was eating a cheese pupusa and drinking horchata, I told my parents, in school, they call me Rene Colato, not Rene Colato Linus. That's too bad, Mama said. Linus is a fine last name. Don't worry, son. Linus is in your heart, Papa said. You're right, I said, and I took another bite from my pupusa. That night, I dreamed that my last name Linus had disappeared from my life. I was left alone with Papa and my relatives from my father's side. I looked everywhere, but Mama was not in the dining room helping me with homework. Abuela Angela was not in the kitchen making my favorite chocolate. Abuelo Julio was not in the patio fixing my bike. When I woke up, I said, I cannot lose Linus again. At school, Ms. Soraya said, we are going to start a new project, a family tree. Be creative and have fun. I remember my family trees in El Salvador. We had a mango and an avocado tree, I said. Rene Colato, the trees I am talking about are your family and relatives, Ms. Araya said. That evening, I opened a chest filled with my family photographs. I found pictures of Abuela Angela. Mama told me that my grandmother used to dance in fairs and fiestas. Papa showed me a picture of when he was young. He had long, straight hair and was holding the clay pot. I know what I will do for my school project, I said. On Saturday, Papa and I made copies of the pictures. Mama helped me find leaves for my tree. I used large pieces of paper, paint, and crayons. Soon, I had a family tree. It was as big as me. On Monday, we presented our family trees. When it was my turn, I took a deep breath and walked to the front of the class. I am Rene Colato Linus. Colato comes from Italy and Linus from Spain, but I was born in El Salvador. I take my family tree on the board for everyone to see. And that's Rene's family tree. At this school, everyone calls me Rene Colato. I pointed to my first last name. The last name Colato comes from my papa's family. Abuela Amelia is a potter. She molds clay to make delicate pots. Abuelo Rene is a farmer. He plants and harvests fruits and vegetables. He takes care of his plants all year long and never gives up. I pointed at my second name, last name, Linus. Linus is my second last name and it comes from Mama's family. Abuelo Julio is a poet. He recites wonderful poems and tells great stories. Abuela Angela is a great dancer. She has won many trophies and medals. 
And this is me, I said, pointing to my picture in the family tree. I am René Colato Lainez. I am as hardworking as Abuelo René and as creative as Abuela Amelia. I can tell wonderful stories like Abuelo Julio and enjoy music like Abuela Angela. If you call me René Colato, only the other half of my family disappears. After my presentation, I played Abuela Angela's music and everyone got up to dance. You have a wonderful name, a boy said. It's great to have two last names. Mr. Isle smiled and said, from now on, you'll be René Colato Lainez. Hooray, I said as I danced with my new friends. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. Bye. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library.